My name is Dr. Raghavendra Kulkarni. I'm a consultant anesthetist and intensivist at Kettering General Hospital. Well, COVID, I haven't seen anything like this in 20 years since qualification from medical school. It was really a challenging time for me, for the department, for the hospital and the country and actually the whole world. So let me start off by thanking the healthcare assistants who've done a fabulous job by ensuring the unit is clean and ready all the time. I want to thank my anesthetic colleagues who went out of the comfort zone of the theatres to come to intensive care unit to help us. I want to thank the, uh, the charity who made sure we are always fed, watered, we also had some creams to cover our faces which were split because of the tight masks what we were wearing. I want to thank the intensive care nurses and I want to thank the theatre staff who went out of their comfort zone to come to the unit to help us and the management. Thank you. My name is Dr. Dumi Ngomanzi. I'm a consultant in intensive care unit at Ketchin General Hospital. COVID-19 taught us two very important lessons, good team working and being compassionate. We saw a very big team working on intensive care unit. We saw doctors coming from other departments. We saw nursing staff coming from the emergency department, from theatres, even saw nurses coming from the eye department come and work on the intensive care unit. You could see that as a team, everybody was happy to just contribute to the care of these patients. We also saw a very strong team of junior medical doctors who, who, whose value and whose contribution would never have managed if they had not been there in this pandemic. In terms of being compassionate, everybody came from home, everybody was worried, the message was changing every day, and we all worried for our families and for ourselves. We wondered whether we would take the coronavirus back home. But we came in, we donned our PPE, some people were in PPE for 10, 12 hours in one long stretch, and still gave it all their own. At the end of the day, we all supported each other, helped each other. We are winning the war against this virus. Thank you very much. I just want to say a really big thank you to the ICU team for everything you've done during COVID. You've been amazing. You've supported families and patients, and also to those that came to help you. You've done a great job. Thank you very, very much. Hello, my name is Rob Barrett. I'm matron for theatres and pre-op assessment. I want to say a huge thank you to all the staff redeployed to ITU during this COVID pandemic. That's staff from theatres, recovery and pre-op assessment. Your courage and professionalism really strong through, so I'm honoured to be counted amongst you. Hello, my name's Karen Kelleher. I'm the Associate Divisional Manager for Head and Neck. I um, have only been working uh, with the Head and Neck team since November 2019. And although it's been a relatively short period, um, the t I found the team to be um, exceptionally supportive. Um, they are all very hard working, uh, resilient. Some of the real strengths have come, up, come out in, in terms of um, how they've adapted and um, supported um, the services during the COVID pandemic. They have worked um, tirelessly to ensure um, that the patients and the, and the service um, is at the, at the forefront um, of ensuring patients are safe. I thank them immensely for uh, working um, outside their remit, often outside their comfort zone. I'd just like to say thank you and I really appreciate you all. I am so proud to be the matron for head and neck, ophthalmology, ENT, maxillofacial orthodontics, audiology, because all the staff showed compassion, patience, cooperation, and kindness to each other in times of this COVID pandemic. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all. I am also delighted that ophthalmology team won a COVID Cavill National Award for going above and beyond for their patients and colleagues. They were redeployed across the trust in other departments with no hesitation and no complaints. I'll repeat, thank you all from the bottom of my heart.